It's still a challenge for us, but we there are two ways to look at the glass. Whether you look at it as half empty or half full, it's beyond 50%. So, anong makikita ho natin talaga doon? Di ba? So, still, it's a challenge for us. If we, we can raise the, the, the figure, the acceptance of the public, uh, it will be, be a good uh, indicator that we have the support of the public. But the figure says it's, at, it's more than half. Kasi yung survey ay ang basis sa sitwasyon ng mga panahon na yun. Of anong, ara, anong mga araw ho ginawa yung survey of 1,200 respondents all over the Philippines? Ano ho yung current situ sitwasyon na yun? Yun ho magbibigay ng resulta sa saloobin ng respondent ng panahon na yun. What, what, when was the... the March 25 to 28. March 25. So, at the time, we were recovering, uh, re-establishing our campaign against illegal drugs. We have... Uh, yun nga po, yung paggamit po nung word na extrajudicial killing, which if we follow the law and we follow what is established in the country, eh kung tinanong tanong, ikaw ba? Sir, ikaw. Natatakot ko ba kayong mamatay ng, o maging biktima ng extrajudicial killing? Yung normal hong sagot ng tao. O yun, 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 yun ang tinitingnan namin. But of course, that's, that's valid because that is, that is us during that time and that, that the current uh, or prevailing situation. Kaya sinagot ho nga ho natin yung allegations of over 7,000 extrajudicial killings or summary executions which the what we have shown you and the chief himself, chief PNP himself showed na hindi po eh, hindi ho ganun. If these are the everyday report coming out, being read, being heard by the public at that time, yun ang current situation. Pag tinanong kita, ikaw ho ba ay natatakot na mamatay through extrajudicial killing? Ano yung normal na magiging sagot ng tao? So, regarding sa EJK, um, yung sa quarter ngayon March, bumaba siya actually eh. From 78 ng December, 78% yung sumagot na natatakot sila. Ngayon, 73%. So, I, uh, if I... If you look at it, naging effective siguro yung explanation namin na hindi ho talaga, uh, wala hong ganong extrajudicial killings incident in the country. We are with the, one with the community and the people that we would like those who are violating the law to be arrested alive. And the figures would show that the effort of the PNP through our campaign uh, project Double Barrel would show that's about 5% ang arrested alive. And more than that, the real effort of the campaign is to reach out, which is the 95% result of the 1.12, 1.18 million surrenderers. Yan po yung resulta. At ang gusto ho talaga namin, unang-una, abutin ho muna. Kaya nga ho, inuuna namin yung tokhang. Abutin ho muna sila pakiusapan na magbago at kung nais silang magbago i-connect sila doon sa ating pong local government unit at Department of Health that can provide them with the necessary uh, and appropriate services. Next, they continue to violate the law. What we do is conduct police operation and over four, almost 5% of that show that they are arrested alive. And we want them to we will bring them before the court so they can answer before the court for that crime they have committed. And unfortunately, there's 0.2% that would do otherwise. And we don't want them ended, ending up dead. However, we give priority to protecting the public and also to protect the lives of our police officers.